Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Inferior Skyrim, episode one, where we are starting vanilla, and we're waiting for this dude hey, to talk. You. There he goes. Finally awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? Walk right no. into that Imperial ambush. As I mentioned as in the prologue, that thief over there. this is the first time I am yeah, playing with this mod us. setup. Skyrim I have not tested this. Him. I have no Empire idea if this works. You there, you and me. So far, it's working here. normally. It's the the wants. And it looks good. We're all brothers and sisters in pines now. Those of you who have watched Superior not Skyrim not will no doubt notice that the graphics look almost exactly the same. And that is intentional. Um, my Skyrim setup, graphically, is always pretty much identical. What changes between my different Skyrim setups is gameplay. And this gameplay setup is quite a bit different from Superior Skyrim. Um, most of the gameplay mods that I have installed here are not... Um, how shall I say this? They're not easy to use, and they're not easy to set up, and they're definitely not easy to make compatible with one another. Um, I've had to write several of my own mods from scratch just to uh, just to get things working properly. I've had to convert a lot of textures and meshes from old Skyrim and port them into Skyrim Special Edition, and uh, I've had to write a lot of my own compatibility patches. And, General a whole Tully lot of stuff. I've been trying to get cover. this version of Skyrim and working now like for about two weeks. And today is the first day that it is cooperating with me. I'm glad you're along with me for the ride. If you chose to watch this video. I'm very excited about this. I cannot it's wait to start playing this. I used to be sweet on a curve. I wonder if Elod is still making that mead with juniper berries. Funny, when I was a boy, imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so sick. Where are they getting? Where are they going? They need to go inside the club. Why? I want to watch the soldiers. Inside the house. Why are we stopping? Why do you think? End of the line. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. Oh, of course not. No, wait! We're not rebels! Face your death for some So, courage. also, if you watch Superior you Skyrim, you'll know we that I am an Imperial. Get the block when we call your name. And I joined uh, the Imperial Legion. Empire loves their damn wolves. In Inferior Skyrim, probably the biggest reason why I call it Inferior Skyrim is because I'm a Breton, an and I am actually wolf. going to be joining the Stormcloaks. As disgusting as that proposition sounds. No care of Rorik's death. No, I'm not a rebel! You can't do this! Huh? You're not gonna kill me! Archers! I mean, honestly, the dude had the right idea. They were gonna kill him anyway. He might as well try and make a run for it. Um, he could have picked a different. He could have picked a better route though to try and get out of the city. You from Daggerfall, Breton? Fleeing from some court intrigue? Captain, what should we do? He's not on the list. Forget the list. He goes to the block. By orders, Captain. I'm sorry. We'll make sure you remain so atone to High Rock. Follow the captain, prisoner. That's my kind of Imperial. Right there. I don't think she's... I think that's Legate Rika, who is not an Imperial. She's a Nord. But anyway, I like her attitude. Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero. Kill everyone. Hero sort the bodies out later. Voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war. Plunged Skyrim into chaos. And now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. Oh no, not dragons. 
Nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Ethereus. I don't know who that lady is. Um, the lady that's speaking right now in the brown. Let's get this over. As you wish. I mean, of course, I recognize your voice. You know, the the same the same actor will voice dozens of NPCs in an Elder Scrolls game. Um, so, of course, I recognize her voice, but I don't know who that character is. I don't know if she actually makes it out of Helgen alive. And you can see the enhanced blood mod doing its job, enhancing the blood. As fearless and dead as it was in life. That's me. Here it is again. Did you hear that? I said next prisoner. To the block prisoner. Nice and easy. Like it makes a difference. I mean, you might as well start fighting back right now, dude. They're going to kill you anyway. Do you go to Sovngarde if you lay down and get your head chopped off? Or do you have to be fighting? What do you see? Now we should actually, uh, there's a mod installed, another mod from Old Rim, where Alduin should speak. Yes! Dragon shout with voice. Alright, let's see if we get control. Yes, it works! I have control! Inferior Skyrim is alive. It's alive. Run, man, run. Let's go. Oh, shit. I love the smoke effects over this town. Oh boy. Shit, come on, kid. Killable children is installed, so kids can die now. And I don't install that mod so that I can kill children. I'm not one of those sick fucks. I installed it just so it's more realistic, so that you have to protect the kids. You can't just shoot them in the face and expect them to just get up and keep running. And that wall is glitching out again. That always happens for some reason. I don't know what it is with my mod setup, but the, that wall always glitches out. It's the only place it happens, though, is right here. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where is that fool? Did he run back in the house? Fucking headbar, come on. Oh, he's on the... T oh, that's sweet. There he goes. Run, you dummy. Run. This wall glitches out, too. I guess it's the same wall. He should come down and pick one of these guys up, and he did. So far, with the exception of this wall, this is running perfectly. I'm very happy with this. Joining these bitch-ass storm cloaks. I'm not very happy about that, but it's okay. I need variety. I haven't been a storm cloak in a long time. Probably since I first played this game on the Xbox 360. Back in 2011, that was probably the last time I played as a Stormcloak. Looks like we're the only ones who made it. That thing was a dragon, no doubt. Just like the children's stories and the legends. The 
harbingers of the end times. We better get moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. Cut me loose. There you go. May as well take Gunner's gear. He won't be needed. No, he won't. I think some victims, I mean some Imperials, are going to come and bring us the key. Damn. No way to open this from our side. Oh, here they come. come on, Imperials, keep they cover. Time for an ass whipping. Whoa, wait, what's the difficulty set at? Oh, it's on expert. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. Light armor. Kill! Kill! I'll bust your ass down, man. I don't care. Do I have a helmet? What do I? What do I have equipped? Not much. Uh, I need gauntlets and a helmet. Thank you for providing those. And the key. Let's get a move on. Gonna go whoop some more of these motherfuckers. On. Where's that dummy? What are you doing? Come on, asshole. Damn, that dragon doesn't give a piece. Grab everything important. Let's go. Gotcha, bitch! Okay. What I really want is a two-handed sword, because that's the weapon I want to use for this game. Done? Yeah. Let's get it going. Fight! Oh, damn. They made no. quick work of them assholes. Oh, I want that leather hood. That's sweet. I haven't seen him since the I might take that mace. I will. that gold once we get out. I'm gonna need a lot more than that gold. Grab it. I'm gonna need this and this and this and this and that and Be this. Useful and let's go. This. I'm just doing this for the lock picking experience. I obviously I don't need to open any of these. That's all I wanted. Was progress towards the next level. But there's money in here. Money. Whoops. Money. Get that damn dog out of my way.
so far this is just really nice to play everything's running smoothly I got a stable frame rate I like inferior Skyrim so far lighting looks good everything looks good I'm happy There's a... Oh, no, wait. That, no, that's a one-handed sword shit. Come on, let's... Let's party, motherfuckers. Had arrows. I'm coming, damn it. I'm coming. Oh, you already got him. Okay. Damn, we fucking slaughtered these Imperials. We didn't lose a single storm club. Holy shit. Maybe I've been back on the wrong side this whole time. Um, I don't need this book. I don't need that. I don't need that. What I need to do is favorite this longbow. Whoops. That's not what I wanted. But okay. Alright. Yes! Let's see where this goes. That's what I really need is a bow and my conjuration magic. That's what I like. Come on, you asshole. Get across that bridge. Okay. Man, the frame rate, super stable all the time. Playing Inferior Skyrim is, I mean, it's a Bethesda game, but it's almost like playing a quality video game. I'm surprised. See, this is why, like, you know, people that bitch about Bethesda games and they want to bitch about the, the creation engine, Bethesda's problem is not the creation engine. As you can see, this is all done in the creation engine. Uh, these are, you know... All the graphics, all the gameplay enhancements, the stability, it's all done within the creation engine. That creation engine is not the problem. Bethesda is the problem. Septum in place of an arrow. It's fine. Okay. You know what? I'm going to level up because leveling up looks cool. Yeah. Alright, so let's get our Breton some health first. Alright, now... Now, this is... Wow. This is just crazy right here. Um, check this out. So I'm a Breton. And uh, with the mods that I have installed, this Breton has uh, a racial ability that gives him only 15% uh, magic defense, as opposed to the vanilla 25%. However, there's this perk right here, which I can get right now for one for just the cost of one perk, Ancestral Awakening. Your passive racial abilities are twice as strong, and you receive a second awakened version of your racial power that can be used every six hours. I can't 
can't believe I can just buy that right off the bat. This perk is just crazy, man. This, it, it, this perk overhaul is just crazy. Um, check this out. Resist magic. 25%. Spell mantle. Magic resistance increased by 15%. I got a total of 40% magic resistance, and I haven't made it out of the tutorial dungeon yet. Give me that bow and arrow. Watch where you step. Thank you. Oops. Well, I'm gonna take this bitch by surprise. Here you go. Took your ass by surprise, motherfucker. All right, let's go outside and see what the world looks like. It'll, it, it should look exactly the same as, as Superior Skyrim. Actually, no, it shouldn't. I take that back. I am, I am, uh, I'm using lower quality textures on, um, on the distant objects to try and save, uh, video rim. So let's see what happens when we go outside. We'll see if it's ugly. Um, Skyrim does crash. It does like to crash when you walk through this door, so I'm just going to quick save it right here to be safe. Here we go. I'm watching my video memory usage. I'm up to six and a half gigs, which is still down by 500 megabytes. Woo! Pretty. Pretty. Did you see that lightning strike? I love it. Got footprints. My sister, Perga, runs the mill and river and runs the below. I'm sure she helped you out. It's probably best that this go back. I'm looking up later without their help. Okay, so thank you very much for watching the very first episode of Inferior Skyrim. Um, this has been a pleasure to make. I'm very happy. Sorry, did I say Superior Skyrim? I'm sorry. This is the very first episode of Inferior Skyrim, which I'm liking better already. So, if you're interested and you want to see what kind of shit I get into, then definitely stick around. Hit that subscribe button. Give me a like. Let me know that these videos are cool. And uh, I'll see you next time. We're going to pick up right where we left off in Inferior Skyrim, Episode 2. Thanks for watching. You have yourself a great day. Bye.